Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. We got another React. We got Amber's uh, letting us know what we should be thankful for and what we shouldn't be thankful for. And apparently being thankful for her is a thing we should be doing more often, I guess. So here's to you, Amberlyn. I am thankful for you. I am thankful for your existence. Thank God you exist. We got a gaining weight, come shopping with me video, React to do. Again, I don't, I'm kind of trying to understand the processes by which she believes that people shouldn't be assuming her weight or talking about her weight because it's detrimental to her her weight loss or her journey i guess but at the same time all she's going to do is talk about it and talk about food those things don't exactly correlate to me it feels very weird it feels like a it's like a conundrum almost it's like she wants the views so she's got to talk about the weight and the food but at the same time she also believes that doing so is what causes her to fail instead of, I don't know, seeing a doctor and following a nutritionist advice and following a set diet plan, it's people assuming her weight. I don't know. I don't really believe much of anything she says, and I'm going to play the clip that'll kind of show you why I feel that way. Something, and then I will mess up, and then I'll do really good at something, and then I'll mess up. This used to happen to me a lot where I would lose like four pounds and then gain it back, but now currently it's to the point where I gain like I mean, I lose about 15, 20 pounds and then I gain it back and that's really bad for me. And I haven't really been 100% honest about that because whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight or whatever, I always just say I'm losing. I don't know. I, I don't need the backlash. We got a gaining weight, come shopping with me, spree. So without further ado, let's get into this react. Hey guys. Hey so guys. I started a vlog. Woke up a little bit ago. So I want to show you guys what I've been eating for my breakfast. Again, right into the food. Right. See, this is what I don't get. Like, you would think that she wouldn't include this stuff anymore because she said that talking about her weight and food makes it harder for her to lose weight. <laughs> but again, this is the first thing we're going to talk about. So breakfast now that i can at least she's wearing her eggs. shirt the right way i have a little bit of oatmeal here. i think she is at least i hope and then she I is have two turkey sausages so Yuck. That is those look disgusting <laughs> that's what i've been having for breakfast <laughs> look like two well hard masses of throw up on a plate satisfied for a long time oatmeal always fills me up. again with the bottled water i'm so glad we got that water jug out there in the living room for you to use so you can just i don't know use all of that bottled water because I guess you need it in your house. I don't know. Was there a water? Was there a no water usage thing in your county or something? Yep. And then obviously water because water is important. Chug that water. I try to drink a full one with my first meal. And then throughout the day, I just kind of drink when I'm thirsty. Like everyone else. <laughs> Every um, Diet tips with Amberlynn. Drink when you're thirsty. You heard it here first, guys. Revolutionary. I, I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I don't drink anything else. Like... I haven't had a diet soda in so long. I miss the carbonation, but water. Then get yourself a LaCroix. Got, like, it's not that hard. It's good for you. Helps with I wonder if she thinks that cetera, diet cetera, soda is so the only high. thing with. So we are on our oh. way to Walmart. Becky. It's still triggering to me that they drive so much and she doesn't wear a seatbelt of any kind. Like it triggers me to no end. She wants to look at some of the Christmas stuff. She has medicine she has to pick up. I figured I would go with her. I love a good sun in my face. What else are you going to do, Amberlynn? Um, I need to get another water jug for my thingy-majigger. I thought it was hooked up directly to the water. I thought that was you ran a hose directly to the water jug. I thought that was a thing. Oh, well, I guess that's not a thing. And I don't know. Let's just look around a little bit. You know, hashtag Walmart. Ooh, them scooter shots. Ooh, they sell, they sell True Religion at, at Walmart now? Hey, Walmart. You coming up, dog? Oh, we Casey nice that now? Oh. This restful legs right here. Those are some action well, shots for you. It's the PM one? Yeah. It calms you so you can sleep. Ooh. The ring around the neck, though. Is that a stain or is she just not washing there? So Becky needed a restful legs and I'm looking for- That is um, considerably a, a different color the than the rest is, of her body. People say that multivitamins- This isn't a great shot. I'm vlogging myself. Multivitamins like 
aren't even real and they just do it for like money or whatever but no they're very much real <laughs> there's a reason why you have to take why most people have to take them every day but again gonna like start spreading some misinformation i don't know i don't know if i believe that or not um i just feel like i need a good multivitamin so i'm gonna look and see you should get yourself a bariatric multivitamin real talk a liquid one too what i can find oh my gosh look how cute these are yay I more shit get we some. need more junk i don't know why but this like truck thing is like really in lately oh my god these are so cute only they're very whatever okay. so i asked dana and destiny what they want for christmas because i literally had no idea what to get them and they said pioneer woman things so <laughs> so is that like a like in order to be a like a kentucky lesbian you have to like be in a pioneer woman is that like a thing apparently i'm gonna look around i mean i found this i'm not actually probably gonna vlog like what i'm getting them but they do know i'm getting them pioneer woman just in case they watch my videos because i think dana i mean this is a personal preference of mine but i find the pioneer woman stuff to be incredibly tacky that's just it's a me thing okay i'm just putting that out there donate me watches them so I'm gonna find something that I really feel like they're gonna use as Pioneer Woman. Um, Cause I think they asked everyone in their life to get them Pioneer Woman. So I'm gonna try to think outside of the box, but also something that's like realistic. And I know a lot of people complain that I use scooters. I need you guys to realize that I know I did this to myself, but I feel- Well, at least you're admitting that finally. Physically can't walk in the store. Like I would probably have a heart attack. I'm gonna be honest. You would. You wouldn't have a heart attack, Amberlynn. Come on, girl. And I've said this before. I think that she should get a walker or something. I think that would be, or some, a cane. I don't know, something. Because I have a feeling, I mean, her muscles and everything have probably atrophied to a certain extent. But, like, the best way is to, like, slowly build up your stamina. And one of the best places to practice walking would be somewhere like a Walmart where you're not just walking continuously and you can stop places. And if you got one of those walkers with a chair in it that you could like fold out and just like kind of sit and rest on every now and then, that would be extremely better than just giving up and just using a scooter the entire time. Because you're probably, and I'm going to put money down, you're not doing the walking at home because you would have showed us. You would have shown us that you were walking. We would have gotten those action thoughts action shots and we would you would you'd have showed us by now um and this is the way that i can do it and i hope one day you guys won't be seeing me but this isn't any different than like what it's been you and poor becky has this to follow along behind you with a cart like and a scooter but i just i felt like i need to clarify that um i just i i can imagine this is like a mobility problem whether i did it to myself or not i still need one am i it's not or not you did it to yourself that's not a question you did do this to yourself like that's not a it's not an if a maybe a probably it's a you did it embarrassed yes do i hate it yes becky's back there like i hate my life <laughs> she's like can you hurry up no <laughs> kill right, me let's go look so this is actually where i get my meal prep oh so they were meal prep containers containers and they have so many more now thank Holy god crap. thank god before when i came here I how got, would like, i have gone on pack. in life not knowing you guys look at these bowls wooden on the outside and this beautiful plastic on the inside and they also have it's probably not this. real wood it's probably oh, like some kind like of resin different types and this is pioneer woman obviously i just thought those were super cute so Becky goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going to go look at paper. She goes, you don't need paper. Uh, yes, Becky. Yes. And I go, I'm just going to look. Ugh. God, the, the engine on that scooter is like, it's like, it's like, it like sounds like it's about to go out. It's like, like you can hear it. I'm paper it's obsessed. struggling. So this is colorful pens that erase. I feel like Amberlynn should buy a scooter for that Walmart and it just be her designated scooter instead of ruining theirs. I don't know. I feel like it probably you have doesn't erase smoothly. so many smoothly. fucking pens. It writes smoothly. It says, write smoothly, erases clean. I don't know. That's freaking weird. So Christmas Again, Walmart. coma patient. 
and they vomited this beautiful thing right here. Isn't this gorgeous? It looks like it's $20. Christmas has entered the chat. Oh wait, that one stopped. Oh my God, please, let's turn it back on. She is totally that little kid that like sits there and like turns every single one on and then walks away. Yep, oh, wow. there she goes. All of them do something. Yeah, they're all in the same section and they're made by the, it's all animated toys. It literally says it right in front of you. Shocking, right? I can't believe that they, uh, it does what it says. Wait, She's gonna literally Oh, I don't turn see every single one on so these are the christmas kitchen towels oh, i ended up choosing i chose this one mainly for this because that's super cute and this is cute too and then i did i don't the know if cute's one. the word i would use but sure sure jan i figured they all matched pretty good and then these are the vitamins i chose which i used to have and i have no idea where they went the perfect the is perfect it a gummy multivitamin are they gummies by Ollie, so i'm gonna try those if they're gum okay, here's a little word of advice for you. If they're gummy vitamins, they're not that great for you. You need to be getting like either a chewable or a liquid because that's the the best way for your um, stomach to and your intestine and everything to absorb as much of the vitamin as possible. If you're eating gummy vitamins, they just don't absorb well. So it's my lunch time, and I'm gonna have a look. In fact, there are these new vitamins on Amazon right now, and they're like they come and they're already like pre -mi pre mixed or whatever, and they're like a gel. And you put them in like a shot of water and then you swallow it and it's supposed to absorb more because it's more surface area in your stomach. So it's going to absorb more into your body than a gummy. <laughs> Gummies are mostly like sugar um, too. Yesterday, which I have a lot of leftovers. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some more of these, which was my spaghetti creation so i did some milk caffeine i'm so hungry Starved. that face i can't she's starved i hate it when people say that like when they're hungry and they're like i'm starved you don't know what starving is please stop you're not starved so a lot of people were hating on me for buying this. We're using Becky's light because it's super dark in here. Poor Becky, dude. I mean, to be an assistant your entire life would be just so draining and toxic. You just have to chauffeur everyone around, follow people around in the grocery store while they buy useless stuff, sit there and hold the light, sit there and hold the camera. Like, what a miserable existence. No, weather, no wonder she looks like she's never having fun because she's constantly just having to, like, dote on other people. Like, Becky, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you're probably watching this while Amber's watching it too, get you a hobby. Get Do something outside of this relationship that is fulfilling to you, please. You will be so much more happy. You will have such a more positive pers perspective on life. You can't just constantly be going around doing for this person who doesn't seem to really care. Here. But I want to show you guys the color by number is like crazy small. Like, thank God this we're is being actually showed this. under the adult um, coloring books i just couldn't imagine not having enough of an imagination in order to create to color in something to the colors at which i want to color them like i have to be told how to color like look how and this tiny. is coming from someone who's and not some artsy so in the slightest small, you can't even like make out the number i still you haven't can. colored in this i can read oh the God, numbers like what are those numbers 21 12 16 okay. 6 3 this 22 a little bit better I know, right? Oh, like, it's just like super small. I rattle off like every single Honestly, number. I wasn't expecting it to be so detailed, but I'm kind of living for it. But I'm going to need to do it in like pens or something. Um, but yeah, you guys, adults, so we're going to get a I new promise. Y'all, Becky is going to have an art project coming up. When do you think you're going to do it, babe? I don't know. Becky's like, don't question me. I'll do it when I want to do it. I don't know. No, she doesn't. Dormous? That's what she said. Yeah. You want to do it then? Becky just can't. Becky just can't with her anymore. She's just so tired of it. Okay, so she's going to do... She's going to try to make a uh, garland with lights and stuff. And she wants to put it up here. Wait, hold on. She wants to put it up on this thing, but on the other side. So you see it from the living room. I think it's going to look good. 
We tried mm -hmm. last year. Becky is like shaking in rage. <laughs> She's just like, this bitch is gonna put the camera on me again. I know it. <laughs> but the garland was too short. So. Well, it was too voluminous to hang on those little hooks we had. Oh, Becky sounds yeah, a little uh, sick. Yeah. That's sad. Right now she's sipping on some tea because we have all the tea. I'm just kidding. She's sipping on tea. She has like a little cold. I just got done with my last meal. It was a turkey wrap, which was super good. And I think we're gonna the, I go watch some more of the L word. The darkness around and her I'm eyes. I'm just gonna like, maybe. I was wondering when Amberlynn was gonna start watching the L word. I'm surprised she hasn't. Like, t it took her this long. Doodle. Usually that's something that like, as like, an, like an, a gay or a lesbian, like, it's like kind of like a rite of passage, I feel like. Like, I remember like, when I was old enough to start watching Queer as Folk and I would watch that, like, I mean, granted that show has like its own set of problems now, like compared to like how far we've come in the progression of just like the LGBTQ community. But like, I feel like it's a rite of passage. Like you're either a gay man, you watch Queer as Folk or you're like a lesbian and you watch the L word. Like, it's just what you do. I don't know why. I've I, All my friends, we've all watched. I mean, that's anecdotal evidence, I guess, by me being like, oh, my friends do it. But like, I feel like that's a very common thing. It's kind of like how a lot of like straight women doing. watch Sex in the City, pens, so or women like, like that, I guess, drawing, that are into stuff like that. Just having the time of my life. Okay, not really. So I have actually been trying to vlog every day, but I've been combining vlogs together because vlogging every day is stressful. But I'm I know so st I c I couldn't imagine what her life would be like if she had a real job. I'm not practicing for Vlogmas because I am doing Vlogmas for sure. Um, How do you practice for a Vlogmas? I'm confused. And vlog my Vlogmas is going to be super boring. Just like a forewarning type style. Type style? Type, she and Danny was mentioning this too in her video that she did recently. Whenever Amberlynn is having trouble retrieving the word she's thinking of, she swaps it for things like situation, type deal. And now I think type style is the new thing. But... It's very, uh, I don't know. She needs to start doing some like mental cognition exercises in my opinion. Fuck the col coloring. Um, you need to start doing some like things that are gonna make you actively like use your brain and start getting the logic and stuff flowing and, and stuff. Cause you're having a lot of issues retrieving very basic words. So, I mean, if you wanna watch it, you can watch it. Um, I feel like, <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh, what was she gonna say? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the drama. Okay, never oh, mind. Oh fuck! Gonna... Come on, Amber, be a little dramatic. Be a little messy. We love it when you're messy. We love the mess. Say something about reaction channels, but oh, oh. When I... You can watch it on my channel. You can watch Vlogmas on her channel. You can watch Vlogmas on my channel. You can probably watch it on my channel. What I'm really excited for though is all my favorite vloggers to do Vlogmas. Learning Same. to be fearless. I am so excited. Oh, not her. Really not her. Linda Meg does it, um, but she hasn't like announced it or anything. She usually does do it, so I'm crossing my fingers. Really excited for that. And I know some other YouTubers who are doing it. Like, can you imagine if David Dobrik did it? Like, he's never going to. Cause yeah, because he has. A job. He does other things besides YouTube. He's like busy hosting a, a television show, for instance. These vlogs are so like good and it's full of so much stuff. But Big descriptive words there. Those are awesome words you, you picked. That would be free. Big, good stuff. Amazing. <laughs> Hello. Next day. In the kitchen. Again. Not in it to win it today, y'all. Not in it to win it. She needs to oh. stop picking at this thing on her face. <laughs> I'm so tired. From what? Tired from what? Oh my god. But I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm wearing one of those dresses that I tried on in a past horde haul that I didn't really like. <laughs> I thought she said horde haul for a second. Care for because it seemed too tight. But I figured, you know what? Let's make some use. For it. I'm not... I know. Typically, when you buy clothes, you wear them instead of just hanging them on a rack while they collect dust, so you can give them to your ex girlfriend's new girlfriend. Leaving the house today, so Ooh, it's a little tight. Ooh, yeah, it's a little tight. It's a little one. tight. Yeah. It looks like 
absolute crazy person. That would be in the giveaway but, pile or the return pile for most normal um, people. I would have returned that in a heartbeat. Right Are the sausage patties that I have. Can she not cook sausage herself? Like, it would taste so much better if you got yourself some actually raw turkey sausage and cooked it in a skillet yourself. It would taste so much better than eating these fully cooked, packed full of preservative it's sausage biscuit. I just, ah, uh, like, it, I can, I feel... I feel like I can taste it already, and it's just the most rubbery, textury, salty. Nah, ugh, it's gross. You can make yourself your own turkey sausage. Like, it would be so much better. In the morning, Jimmy Dean bought myself some new tapatio. I fucks with tapatio too. Love that. Fucks with Cholula more, but tapatio comes in a really close second. It's like Cholula tapatio, like really close. That. The oatmeal that I use, Quaker, maple, and brown sugar, so. I fucks with that too. I really like the maple, brown we'll sugar um, Super oatmeal. Super dark in here, so my apologies. Yeah, because you probably didn't leave the house until 6 o'clock because you woke up at 3. We're actually about to go to a Chinese buffet. So, yeah? With some friends. Okay. And Eric and Ricky. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> I just, you know, I don't know, dude. And I know that this isn't their problem or whatever, but like if I had someone in my life that was, and I, this has actually happened to me. When I had like, if I had someone in my life that was really struggling with their weight and very on the verge of like tipping over into no man's land, the last thing I would do is potentially send them to triggering situations like a Chinese buffet when they're trying to lose weight. There's so many other places you can go to eat than a Chinese buffet. And I know that they live in a more rural area, but like, come on guys, like think a little bit more. Quit inviting her out to these, cause you know she's gonna say yes, you know. So just, I don't know, be a little bit more mindful. This is the choker I'm wearing today. There's like little flowers on it. When you're in the car, like, how I'm positioned, my fat rolls over it, so that's cute. I don't think it's the car's fault for your fat rolling over it. I just think it's the fat. I actually look like a sloth today, just not, you know, my best day. I think you meant slob, not sloth. For some reason, I'm just not feeling it today, and I'm trying to, you know, have a positive mind frame right now. Well, I mean, she seems more animated, but I would assume that's because she's going to the buffet. What is that person doing, though? Amber, who can't drive, is going to criticize other people's driving. Shocker. Turning? This is why I don't... Yeah, Becky's like, shut up. This is what people do. This is how people drive. Drive. I wonder if I'd be, like, a road rage person or if I'd be patient. I don't really know. You'd so probably get in an accident. Back hours ago. So you're not sitting in the car, but I can barely see the choker. So it wasn't the car. From eating... We actually She's gonna tip watched, up her neck um, so we can see dark it. Dark skies. It's an alien movies. Movies. She's like <laughs> movie. If oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna really use good. It's like better a, posture so you can movie, see it. But loved it. It's not super old. It's like from 2013. And her head slowly um, started really to drip down again. To watch it. So they watched it. They Look at her. It. She's like she's like looking in the viewfinder, being like, "Oh my god, I gotta keep my neck up." So they could see the choker. Lot. And then we played some games, which was super fun. You guys, look what I found. Well, no. Becky found it. In the most random spot. I don't even know. So this is the tripod. I just hit myself in the face. So this is the tripod that I was meaning to buy because I thought I, like, lost it, lost it. No, and you're just a hoarder, so you yeah. lose a lot of your stuff because you have so much junk in your house. In. Like, I swear I ordered that one. Maybe, like, the website, like, messed up. I really Yeah, it was Amazon's fault, I'm sure. Girl, you can literally go on Amazon and check your previous orders. It's not that hard. I'm sure you just were lazy and you picked the first one that came up and that was the one you got. I don't know. Because um, that's happened before where, like, I receive something that isn't the right thing. 
that I just take the choker thought. off. Just give up. The choker has given up. You've given up on having a neck. Just give up on having a choker you, too. Baby girl. She's so beautiful. <laughs> so I want to start. I like that Mortal Kombat shirt. I fucks with that Mortal thing. Kombat shirt. Yes. Becky doesn't even know about this. In our in <laughs> Becky just looks so dead inside. In my vlogs. In our vlogs. Okay. okay. It's called. <laughs> You're just like okay. Yeah, it's she's like, spit it out. Get it over with, fire. please. Oh, God. So, Shoot. no matter what you're doing, toilet, brushing your teeth. I'm just kidding. Yeah, toilet, <laughs> thank you. Brushing our teeth. Mm. People don't want to see toothpaste just. To some people, though, the sound of, like, brushing teeth is, like, ASMR. No, it's but, not. I don't believe that for a second. Randomly. And neither did Becky. In, a, in random vlogs, I'm going to ask you a rapid fire question. It's going to be just very Like fast. Amber can come up with a question to, to ask. the thing that comes to your oh, head. God. And this can never be planned because that's the point, okay? All right. Are you ready? Yeah. I don't know why I'm asking because it, it has that to That kind of, yeah, it defeats naturally. the purpose. Ready, set, go. Favorite movie, go. Anchorman. There we go. That's a good one. Hey, guys. So it is the next day, so I'm putting three days into one vlog. I'm sure... You guys don't care. Oh, I cannot believe. If you know the answer, up, like, so then anxious. why ask the question? Just because, like, I feel like my life is really boring. I know it is, but a lot of people want me to do Vlogmas. I'm getting like constant messages. I think you need to do Vlogmas because you need the money. But okay. <laughs> so it's like it's gonna happen. But be forewarned, it's about to get very boring on this channel. So I'll spice it up for you guys. Come on over here. Well, I did get some new pens. I've had this notebook for a while. And every time I get new pens, I like to see the colors and like how they work and pan Why out. Why do we have to get more new pens? We've You've gotten like 20 sets of pens in the past two years. I swear to God. So this is my little like testing the color page and the next page you guys i okay i'm just gonna warn you i'm not an artist i'm well, not you know that's really, why you buy coloring like, books this is not my forte i literally am just doing this you know because... what you know what i don't get is like why not just get an ipad or an ipad pro and then get the pen and then download like the coloring book apps and then like save the environment a little bit like how about that or you can get the journal apps and they have like infinite amounts of different themes and visuals and little writing prompts and all that stuff. And you're not polluting the environment. How about that? There, you know, I mean, I know people are going to get on me about suggesting things like that, but it's like that would make more sense to me than like you constantly. And you can have every color in the world of pen too on that app too. So it's like that makes more sense to me. It's if you really fucks with journaling and you really fucks with coloring, like wouldn't that make more sense? I was bored. Lesbian. That was the best we could come up with. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. That made me laugh when I did that. I done did botched it, but it says pride, you know, because I'm a lesbian. I do like how I did that. I thought that looked really cool. And I do love my little rainbow, but <laughs> and then y'all, I don't know what this is. Like, please tell me if you guys know, because I have no idea. It's a Although flower and an hourglass. Flower, I'm actually... And a star I'm not that's Not mad dripping. about it, but... <laughs> I was just doing, like, the most random thing. So, I mean, sometimes I just let my hand do the talking. This is so <laughs> stupid, but it kind of looks like an hourglass. Oh, where, like, God. This pink liquid is, like, pouring into it, and there's, like, flowers. I don't know... Please don't ask, but then don't yeah, show. It's just like so therapeutic, even if you're bad at it, like me. So I just got done with lunch, and you guys, more food. This package is for a friend for Christmas, and I'm telling you, it was like long. It amazes me how like she's constantly shopping at these places and i know all the things she's getting for her friends she could probably get at walmart but it's like do you really need to be having like set up a set up a delivery date set up a delivery date so that way they only deliver things to your house once a week because i know you know that fedex and that ups guy and the postal service are i mean the postal service is going to come to the house every day regardless but like come on dude do a little bit better that's why those things are there lost it was lost 
I think Amazon is having some issues because it's like Christmas time or whatever. Because girl, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> One of the gifts that we ordered for Ricky, it said that it got lost in the mail. So it said you can either rebuy it or get a refund. So I press refund and then I went to go buy it again. I got the refund, but then I got two of the items. So, so to me, it sounds like you just didn't wait long enough. I hope you sent the other one back. So it was lost, but it came. So I contacted them. They said, just keep it. So now we have two of them. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is, but Becky ended up keeping the one, but it's just so funny. Like, and I know it happened. <laughs> is that like the new scam? Is that like the new Amazon scam? We're gonna like claim things got lost in the mail and then like ask for refunds and then get two of things. To another friend of mine, cause we were just like talking about it, how- It's like buy one, get one free. Two of them. So yeah, I think Amazon's just like on drugs cause Christmas time. So yeah, that's what it is. They're on drugs. So currently at Walmart, me, and Eric, the scooter. Becky, and Ricky are having that a poor motor, dude. situation tomorrow. And there was a few things. I, oh my god, my lips are so dry. Situation thing. Um, a few things that I need to pick up for tomorrow because they bought some. We're gonna buy some, um, like stuffing, stuff like that. So that's just my little update. People are staring at me, but hi. Someone I just mean, complimented my hair. I'm not mad about it. So I'm trying to. Find I mean, I don't know. I would. <laughs> I couldn't imagine like seeing like a like a near six hundred pound twenty eight year old like roaming around in a mobility scooter at Walmart in the food aisles. I think it would just be so disheartening to see. I feel like to see like a young woman who's like done this to herself. I guess I don't know if that's me like assuming things. If I saw that in person or whatever, but like especially if I saw her vlogging, I'd be like, is she? I don't know. Clearly, something is like this is something that is wrong with her but it's like i don't it's not i don't know i don't know dude I, it's sad i would be sad i would be sad i'd be like damn what happened you know lacroix my friend told me about lacroix coca-cola flavor ew that sounds awful LaCroix. It, was LaCroix. it was so gross but i'm trying to find the coca-cola flavor oh you're good oh sorry so we're just gonna like run into people in our mobility scooters now while we vlog? Oh, so lame. That'd be so annoying. Um, oh, there's LaCroix, I found LaCroix. The so I actually noise. had half of this for dinner tonight and I wanted to recommend it to you guys. It is fajita style shredded chicken. And the reason why I wanted it is because it's you from Moe's. And Moe's is like a restaurant kind of type deal. And I- It's, it's a restaurant. That's, it's, it's a restaurant, period. Not a restaurant type deal. It's just a restaurant. It is. You could say that. It's fine. Love Moe's, but I haven't been there You'd in so long. You'd be factually correct. So, you guys, you need to try this, especially if you don't have Moe's around. Where or you could buy your own chicken, shred it yourself, and season it yourself, and have way better food and probably has way less preservatives in it. You live. Um, you can do anything with this. I just put it on top. You could probably Google a recipe for the exact recipe that Moe's uses to make their chicken fajitas of baked potato so unfortunately we couldn't find the lacroix but i got the velveta we got the um stuffing and we also got this rotisserie chicken for tomorrow Mukbang. because eric and ricky are making ham and becky and i do not like ham so we're just gonna have that tomorrow since when okay you guys so it's common of the daytime and i'm gonna start doing this very differently I have heard you guys loud and clear, and I'm gonna take your guys' advice. She almost said, so cl cl she's almost said Claire instead of clear. Is how I load the comments. I don't need to show that part. No, so you don't. Your, vi Something your vlogs you are already super like long. Also, that I don't edit out the parts where it's a reply to someone. Yes. I don't reply to those. Or the parts where I don't really know what someone's talking about. Yes. So thank God. Like, mm, I don't know what you're talking about. You. So I'm also going to. Amber, she is just giving the people what they want. And thank you. Thank you for that. Edit those parts out from now on. So I'm taking your guys' advice. I'm using. Finally. It. Now let's do it. Come After from months. Somebody that doesn't take a shower or change their clothes for at least three or four days at a time, let alone wash their hair. Do you really think we believe Tea. that is the fish that you supposedly cooked? Come on, we're smarter than that. So Why is she bleeping out tubby? That's so weird. The words that she chooses and picks to 
um, censor out is so weird. Like, why not just say it? Just say, come on, we're smarter than that. Like, instead of like actually her saying it out, because I think what it is, is I think she doesn't want to be heard saying it because maybe she thinks that like people are going to like splice it up or something. But then just don't say it. Like, you can say that sentence without saying the word tubby. You can just say, come on, we're smarter than that. But why say it out? Is and Or is it because she doesn't want to say it out loud because she doesn't want to be like de like degrading to herself, which I get. Th but if that were the case, you wouldn't do comment of the day, period. But what I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. So it looks to me like the person does not believe that the salmon that I ate is actually the one that I cooked. So I actually take that as a compliment. That is very much the salmon that I cooked. So... Thanks you would take that as a compliment? As okay. not showering or changing my clothes for three or four days at a time, that is very, very not true. And I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm pretty sure in the last vlog, I show myself wearing the same shirt as I did prior, which I should have told you guys that the day before I wore that shirt for the whole day. And then we happened to do laundry. And that was the first shirt that was on top of the pile. Sure it was. And I literally just put it back on. Sure. Which I'm sure, Jan. Because rumors like this happen okay um, i only wash my hair about once a week which i need to stop doing but i do shower every single day this is all a charade <laughs> nope, nope outspoken oak don't give up losing weight and taking care of yourself amber i agree you, you should never give up to us and you deserve more than this hate you get online thank you so much i'm not going to give up you reap what you sow i'm going to give up i recently have learned that taking care of myself is one of my top priorities. And nothing says taking care of yourself like going to a Chinese buffet when you're 600 pounds. It used to never be. I very much put myself on the back burner a lot and I didn't care about my health at all. And I've just, I'm, I'm wide awake now, if you will. I'm wide awake. And yeah, I don't think I deserve all the hate I get either. There's a difference between constructive criticism. And oh God, stop with the lifestyle. criticism arg but argument. It's old, it's done, it's tired. Even if people, people gave you constructive criticism, comments, you wouldn't listen anyway. Just like Who cares? Blah, disaster. we're bored, like we're just, over it. We don't care annoying. anymore. I can tell you're losing weight, happy for you. Oh wow. April Peach is blind. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I physically cannot tell at all which is kind of disheartening, but I can tell in the way that I move, the way- If you can't physically tell that you've lost weight, then why were you posting Snapchat comparisons? What? That makes no sense. The way that I breathe and how much I can do. As much as you annoy the out of me, I hope you really are losing weight. You may not survive much longer if you aren't. I 100% agree and I am losing weight. We're not stupid. You have gained weight and refused to weigh in. If we're wrong, you can always weigh in to show you're correct. This is very like a, not really a blackmail, but like a manipulative, like <laughs> trying to. I, they're not manipulating you. They're just trying to prove what you're saying, but you lie all the time. So like people will never believe you even when you're telling the truth. And this is what happens when you lie all the time. In life, if you weren't a vlogger and you went around lying to your friends and your family all the time, they would assume that you're a liar and everything you say is a lie. And then when you try to come and tell them the truth, they're just not going to believe you. That's what you did with your audience. You just did that with 100,000 people. That's the only difference. To sway me to do something even though I don't want to do it, like telling me. I don't know. Oh, you, and you come on here and talk about your weight all the time. So it's like, you're just trying to have me what's do the difference? something that I don't want to do right now. And I Because you, and this is my theory, is I think that she was higher than the, the highest weight that she was saying and right now she's just trying desperately to lose weight to get back down below to her highest below her highest weight so she's in like emergency mode right now i feel like you should accept that and if you want to believe i have gained weight that is more power to you i cannot change your opinion whatsoever then why talk like about it <laughs> amberlyn is maining progress but Pam on salmon is a little much. It seemed to work for me. I have seen a Ugh. lot of people tell me that I shouldn't use Pam. I should have used like olive, olive oil, oil yes, or butter. I shouldn't have seasoned some margarine. It. I should have used lemon instead. That, that is great worked. advice, but I feel like everyone cooks things differently. And honestly, I loved my salmon. So when I make it again, I'm people are, probably- People are honestly just trying to give you some like decent advice to make your salmon taste better. And you can't sit here and say that like, 
um, you know the best way to cook salmon because it's clear that you don't really know how to cook very well. But like that is some actual like the whole idea of using fresh lemon, using some thyme, using some olive oil. That's some good advice. And honestly, using fresh ingredients like that will make your food taste better. You're still going to make it how I made it prior. Girl, you are over 600 pounds. You are just a less lazy 600 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my god i have never been over 600 pounds my highest weight is 572.4 i don't know what else to tell she you. rattles that number off like it's in code it's ingrained in her brain to see that i have never been over 600 pounds but again believe what you want 572 pounds 572.4 pounds 600 pounds there's not much difference when you're five foot two so and this is the years last old. one I'm going to do. It wasn't even that much for her. She working her way to a healthier lifestyle. Yeesh, you people act like you're perfect or something. The same people who hate on me for eating salmon probably just had McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> like, literally. Um, mm -hmm. I think that people need to stop judging That's a pretty big assumption, but I okay. Like this world is just too judgy, and we should all be supporting each other. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this I don't support liars. Imagine Bye. standing a liar. <laughs> well... We had another vlog. This one's already super long, so I'm just gonna give a, a few hot takes. Um, I wish she would walk in the store. I wish she would at least attempt to walk in the store, but I, apparently that's too much for her. I'm excited to see where a Vlogmas is going to take us. It should be a very interesting month. Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. This one's already been super long. Thank y'all so much for tuning and watching. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, toodles.